Good morning. Um, Sunday morning, I was just doing some reading in the book of Ephesians this morning. I noticed something there that I didn't notice uh, the last time I had read through Ephesians in Greek. And uh, just something that I think may encourage you just a little bit. And I want to share that with you right now. So let me share my screen. It says um, in Ephesians, I've got the uh, King James Version on this side, the Greek on this side. Uh, Ephesians 4.28, it says, um, The one stealing, no longer let him steal, but rather uh, labor, working uh, the good um, with his hands, that he may have um, to impart or to give to the one having need. Um, and I want to point out that word need there. Um, that's a really important word. And I hadn't noticed before, uh, in verse 29, um, he continues a, a similar kind of thought in a way. Um, he says, there's one, that who, there's one that steals, right? And there's something he's supposed to do to replace that bad behavior. Um, but there's also a person uh, that could have, uh, well, let's just translate it here, every uh, rotten word from the, your mouth not let it go out. Um, so the King James really renders this well. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of, out of your mouth. Um, but what is good to the edification, and I like this idea of edification. It's one of the themes of Ephesians as we're a, a spiritual temple. But w what I, I hadn't noticed before was that just as the thief is to replace his stealing so that he might impart uh, good to the one in need. So here as well, we're to impart good words for edification and literally of need. In other words, um, and it's hard to bring this out into English, and I think the King James is rendered fine here, uh, but that which is good but that which is good to the use of edification, that gets the idea across. But it's hard to render this of need because if you translate it literally, uh, but what is good to the edification of need, um, it doesn't, it could be misleading. But the idea here is that the hearer um, that needs encouragement, he has need too, just like the poor person has need of money. Uh, a person who is down and discouraged has need of edification. So you might think that there's no needy people in your church today. Or you might think there's no needy people in your life. Uh, but I want to say that there's needy people all around us. And sometimes it's not what they need. Not just what they need is money. They don't just need money. Sometimes they need these words of edification. So this, the thief replaces his stealing with hard work. The person who has corrupt speech replaces it with good work, and both of them are are there to supply the needs of others. So just wanted to share that thought with you. I hope uh, you have a good Sunday if you're watching this on Sunday or whatever day you're watching it. I hope it does minister grace to you and encouragement. You might not have a lot of money. Um, you might not have any money to give anybody, but you may be able, you might be able to uh, minister grace to your hearer just by words of edification. So I uh, hope the Lord blesses you and you'll see you on the next video.